Last night, people were subscribed to letters. Last night, people who were subscribed to letters from Mo, a private newsletter platform um, owned by Mo Odele, popularly known as Mischievous, received a very disturbing information that she was stopped at the airport when she tried to leave for Maldives for her birthday. You know, as per baby girl life. Um, in case you are wondering who Mo is and why we are talking about her. She's not your regular celebrity, yes, unarguable, but she's a, she's a hero in our books. She was a key player in the NSARS movement. Although she wasn't found on ground protesting like the likes of Renu or Douala, or myself, if I could say so, but she held it down for the Nigerian youths from the legal standing point. She gathered legal aid to protesters who were unjustly arrested. She fought for them relentlessly to be freed without charging a dime. So today, the Nigerian youths are ready to fight for her. Although the Queen has finally spoken, as she said on her Twitter this morning that, Hello everyone, thank you so much, I am fine and I am safe. We haven't confirmed yet why I was stopped on Sunday or, or by whom, but I have been invited back with the lawyers today and I will update you when I have more information. So, but please, don't spread fake news, that is dangerous. Um, so... So, um, yes, before I dive into the conversation, let me take a few reactions from the Twitter streets, which is where everything is hot right now. Coming from at J. Chiemeke, Mo's only crime, quote-unquote, was setting up a public defense system for youths who have been harassed by law enforcement. She and others did it in two weeks, what the Office of the Public Defenders haven't done in decades. Seizing her passport violates her rights to free movement, hashtag free Mo sexy. <laughs> And then the other um, Twitter user also said, I am very embarrassed by the actions of the SSS. How did Mo threaten the territorial integrity of the country? How did she threaten the safety of the president? Why was her passport confiscated? Don't they see that this, don't they see that this is massive embarrassment? Free, hashtag free, Mo sexy. So that hashtag was trending this morning. Um, and it, I think a lot of people might not really know about Mo if you're not on Twitter, if you didn't really follow the NSAS movement. But she was quite um, a phenomenal to watch and how she gathered a lot of people and helped quite a lot of people. She helped us to feel that um, slogan that they used to say at the NSAS movement that. Um, I, I want to be able to feel safe and relevant in Nigeria as a Nigerian without knowing anyone who's important. And I think Mo gave them that. But what do you think about this whole... Um, before I even say it, I'd like to get your take on this one. Okay, so um, I think it was interesting to see that they are actually listening on Twitter. Because this girl didn't go on on um, the protest. She wasn't, she's not a celebrity. She wasn't going for every interview. All she did was work online, get people to tweet at them if they were ever in trouble and she would, they would get them out. So it is clear to, to see that the government is actually on social media, following us, targeting people. So my first th thought was, we are not safe. None of us are. Because a lot of people, a lot of young people were involved in this. A lot of people donated to her cause. So you don't know who's listening, who's watching, who has flagged you somewhere. Because for you to go to the airport and you're being flagged to so a point where you've been, where your passport has been seized, that means they were actually watching you and stalking your movements. So that for me was a very um, um, big worry. Uh, in regards to them actually seizing the passport, I'm no longer surprised, unfortunately. I think I've come to realize that my entire, oh, how many years have I been on earth, claiming that I'm in a democratic society has been a facade. I think I am, I know that I'm in a system where anything can happen. They can tell me tomorrow that they want to flush everybody out and they own our houses. And I'll still say that I wasn't surprised. There is no accountability. It's been, today's what, Tuesday? Mm -hmm. It's been three weeks since the killing at Lekki Massacre. Mm -hmm. No one has been held accountable. So if you're taking Mo's passport, I'm not going to sit down here and act like, oh my God, why are they infringing her rights? That is not allowed. It seems like I'm in a lawless place. Okay. So I'd like to start by saying, God bless you, Mo. I mm. love you. I admire you. Mm. Because despite everything going on social media, despite the hashtag free Mo, free this, free that, she still came out to say, please don't spread false information. Mm. This is said, I still don't know why. Mm. The person who is affected said, I still don't know why. Mm. I still don't know by whom. Mm. 
Do you understand? Those are two critical points that mm. people should pay attention to. Okay. So fact check before you jump on any hashtag. Fact check before you jump on anything. Mm. So this is for people that are just on Twitter that are just putting it out there. Because I called three lawyers mm. this morning and I said, um, have you heard about more? They said, yes. And these are normal mm. human rights lawyers and everything. This, and um, one thing one of them said, a lady to be precise, said that stood out for me was... Um, what has happened in Nigeria in the past three weeks is a disaster. Mm -hmm. Do not think that the international bodies are not watching. That so, investigations are ongoing. If false information are passed, if everything, and if you're a person of interest, obviously, you'll be asked certain questions. And I said, okay, so does that mean that seized? He said that, who says most passports were seized because of our involvement in EDSA? Okay. He said it could have been for as little as a change of name. Could your passports are seized at the airport, if eh? Yes, anything can happen for your passport to be seized. It could have been as little as anything. We don't know. Even the person in question. I'm not going okay, to let me, let I'm me... not gonna sit here and be giving reasons for more for our passport being seized. I need to update jumping... you on a part that you are missing. Okay, so Twitter did not come out to make the story on their mm. own. She has a newsletter platform called Letters by Letters mm. by More, Letters mm. to More, whatever. Mm. Mm. She made a whole speech about that. And in that speech, she made it clear that she doesn't she doesn't want anyone to screenshot it. If not, I will have I, I will have put this on the show as we were talking about mm. it. She came out first and foremost. And then she came out again. To, she came out first and foremost to say that her passport had been seized by the Nigerian authorities. You have to be on a blacklist. Did she say why? She doesn't know why. But you have to be on a blacklist. So to, we're the ones to, for, 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 the Wait, listen, for listen. No one has said a reason. If I don't, but you that's can't. What we're saying. Listen. All right, cool. If this babe is come out to say that she was on a blacklist, you don't get on a blacklist because your passport was expired or that your name was wrong. These people at the airport, especially especially what you call airline people, they don't have any authority to seize your passport. What they'll just tell you is that your documents are not aligned and you cannot travel, your visa, all of that. For the government, the government has to get involved to seize somebody's passports. You can return them back, you can detain them if they, are, or if they have like illegal drugs or whatever. She did not meet any of the normal, normal reasons why your passports at the airports by the SSS would be, um, what's it called, um, seized. So none, though they don't have the right to seize your passport. Nobody has the right to seize your passport, okay. Ex Th except that, you we'll, have, we'll have made terri <laughs> um, You have, except you have made treasonal reason. Um, 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 what's it called? Um, behavior. I think you have been found being in treason. That's when you do that. Nobody has the right to do that. How many Nigerians? How many people in the Nigerian authority? are watching every Nigerian travel to a point where they now say, okay, this one take his... How many times have you heard that someone's passport was seized at the airport? And let's not act naive, both you and your lawyers, that the person who was involved drastically in a political end SARS movement against the Nigerian... Um, <laughs> are you kidding? Like, we're who was acting, ma we're, majorly we're... involved? We're not making statements. We have not said... Um, governor whoever arrested and um, seized her passport or president who, we've never said that all we know is that this girl has been flagged go, by by the federal because you have to have serious authority to do that mm. they did not flag her yesterday they did not flag her the day before this person is a steady traveler all she's doing is going to maldives for her birthday you cannot ask the people and including her to put two and two together the only reason why she was disclaiming that is because people want to now form like they know exactly who this person that ordered it is. That's what the speculation is. But you cannot, you cannot tell us that we are not allowed to think that this is not a political thing because it is. Okay. Until she comes out to tell me it's political, I still don't think it's political. So what do you think? That I don't her, know. Her, 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 she doesn't her, her, know. Who mm, am I to know? If, if, uh, we don't know who exactly. But we and she know doesn't, that we don't know for what reason exactly. So who am I to give you a reason or who sees that passport? So you don't I... see any inter any relations with the fact that she, because she was involved for in now. the SARS movement? For now. Even DJ Switch that has been for hiding now. nothing. Okay. All for right. now. Let's move on with the conversation. Maybe we'll have a better understanding of this next one. Nollywood actor Femi Jacobs has offered some bits of advice to those who try to cut people of their dignity under the disguise of helping them.
The movie star took to his Twitter page to simply write, do not rob people of their dignity under the ties to help them. Literally quoted it again. The award-winning movie star also shared his thoughts on the corrupt public office holders in Nigeria, particularly the fact that there is no pressure on them to perform excellently at their roles. Um, and I think those stories obviously intertwine really well, but let's... Um, Take basically, your yeah, I like I like I like what you said because you see a lot of people trying to help people and then they go out and then make it look like yeah, yeah he's out of uh, he's out of empathy, but it's actually sometimes it's just because of your own low self esteem and for you to feel important mm. and then you are doing those things for people and then so you can go around and spread it around like I helped that person, I helped that person. So don't rob people of their self esteem or or, or feel entitled because you helped the person. The fact that you've helped me once don't mean that if you tell me, come here, I'll run to you. I won't run to you. You did me a favor. Mm. Don't mean that you are my God or you are my whatever it is yeah. you think you are. So yeah, I totally agree with everything Femi Jacob said on this. I mean, it's, I, I, I like that he picked that up. When I first read it, I just, mm -hmm, I, I knew, I, I'm very skeptical about things like that because yes, I agree with everything that you're saying and what he's saying, but I'm just hoping that this isn't stemming from a fact that the person has asked you back for their thing and then you're not getting your feelings because there's that aspect to this story. There's a lot of people who you help, genuinely help, and they put integrity on the line and say, I will give you back in two weeks, or I would help you do this, or there'll be a commission to my whatever. You know, there's little things that they've promised when they're really desperate to help. And then the, the, the renderer of this help holds on to that, obviously, and has every right to come and ask you back, like, you know, for what you have promised. I've seen a lot of the times where people get, they lose all humble threads that they had when they were begging and turn the other way and become this really nasty, unreachable person. So if the person is calling you, or the person is calling your mom to tell you to bring the phone, and that's what you're now using to make this type of, of, of narrative, then I'm not down for that. I don't know what his case is, but it was a, it's, I think it's a good thing to make that type of disclaimer because there's that aspect as well. But if you're going off, um, what's it called, just shallow reasons, as in like taking it off surface value, I have to agree, yes. There is a lot of people that I've noticed, and I stay far away from them, where they really like you being low. Mm -hmm. It makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. um, everything is nice when you are down. They want to be there. They really like that savior's mentality. Mm -hmm. And then when you now start to get out of that, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Even rejecting their help, that like, no, no, don't worry, I, I, can, I think I've got good. it. They're like taking it back and I don't, I don't know what kind of, I don't know, I wish I had a psychologist on the table that would give us the, the reason why your brain works like that, why you always feel the need to um, be obsessed with the savior mentality and always when they're helping people so you can control them. It's really sick to me, it's really sick to me, but and I don't know why, but I have to agree with your thoughts on saying that, yes, there, there is a lot of people that do that and I find it sick. So I have to agree with Femi on that one as well. Let's see time, go on a break, we'll be right back.